Everybody just do your thing Wake up, today's gonna be a good day 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 Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to another video today. We are going to be continuing Days Gone. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our post notifications. Uh, we are currently at 220 subscribers. I would like to get the 300 subscribers within the next month and a half to two months. So please subscribe if you want to. I would really appreciate it. Uh, let's just hop right into it, shall we? Corporal, need some. So, man, I gotta tell you something. Okay. I knew you from before. <sighs> Corporal? Ah, uh, Corporal. Hey, D, I got a question for you. What the hell's an East Coast City boy doing all the way the hell out here? Actually, yeah. Uh, served with a guy from Long Island. Accent's kind of hard to miss. No shit, right? Let me tell you, man. Before shit went. Corporal? To focus on my mic, I almost blew right into that danger sign. Colonel, sir, just checking in on Lieutenant Norwood. Corporal, I've just read. Is it a visitor center? That's gotta be it. And now, uh, I just gotta find some yeast. Kitchen, yeah. Well, that's gotta be in the kitchen. Ah, shit. Breakers. <laughs> Had to be breakers. That couldn't be fucking easy, could it? Of course not. Why would it be easy? Is this guy new or something? No time, no time. Got it. Yeast, yeast. Might be useful. Yes, I hope this is enough. Oh. 
Huh, easy enough. St. John to uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, reporting in. Deacon, uh, <clears throat> Corporal St. John, yes. I, uh, got the item on your requisition form. The yeast, there wasn't much. I I'm sure that whatever you have is gonna be fine. So, um, just curious, uh, why do you need... Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I gotta go. I'll talk to you when you bring it in. Whitaker, out. <laughs> That was the only thing on the list? Really? I thought, thought like a list was, you know, more than just one item. But hey, I'll take it. Unless they want us to bring it to her and then go get the other thing. I guarantee you that's what's gonna happen. Watch. Would you stop doing that, please? I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes. When my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. My yeast, thank you. Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know no, we're fine. No, no, I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. Hmm. But of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. I meant for stay. Yes, ma'am. All right. Mm. Under pressure. If you reload during focus, the focus meter will free will freeze until you finish reloading. No longer consume. Okay, seems good. No, no, set them over there. Thank you, Corporal Saint John. This is Dr. Jimenez. St. John? Hey, Doc. This is Deacon. What can I do for you? St. John, good. I need you to stop by the infirmary. Uh, is something wrong? You need something? No, no. Nothing like that. I want to check on that arm. My arm? My, my arm's fine, hey, Doc. what are you doing here? <laughs> a burn like that? From a wood stove? It's nothing to play around with. You want la infección? You come see me. That's in order. All right, Doc. All right, fine. Whatever you say. St. John out. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, I got me one of those. Nice piece. Hey, you be careful with that one. You'll shoot your eye out. There you go. Yeah, I should probably keep this. Wait, no. We'll, we'll go with the pistol. Stay out of trouble, you hear me? Yeah, we'll see. Hey, Doc. Uh, Come in. Sandersen. Have a seat. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. oh, let's look here. So, who did you ride with back in the day? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're uh, getting at. No me mientas. Look, Corporal. I spent 20 years in East LA patching up bandas de motoristas and every other kind of pandillero. I know the look. And this? No kind of wood stall titis. All right. Keep it clean. It'll heal on its own. Leave a nasty scar. But I want you to come back and see me in a couple of days. You got it. Funny thing. When the city burned and the hordes came in, neighborhoods at war for decades all came together. Fought together. Latinos, Gueros, Chinos, Bloods, Crips. Didn't matter. Crazy what it takes to bring people together sometimes, no? True. Thanks, Doc. Let's see what he has wow. to say. I was afraid that maybe you got in too close to that man you were tracking. Oh, I'm close, all right. I'm right in the friggin' backyard. Hey, I need your help, man. I'm, I'm at the at a small camp south of Crater Lake, just off the South Rim Drive. Taylor, listen to me. I have no idea what you're doing, but you got. Oh shit! No, no, no! Let me go! Hey! No. Taylor, Taylor! Oh, damn it! Couldn't just stay at camp, right? Moron. St. John to Lieutenant Whitaker. Come back. Switching to a private channel. Hold on. Deacon, are you there? Yeah. Uh, hey, so I, I looked at that requisition form. It says that you want silicate? Yeah, silicate. I use it as a distillate. Oh, why would you jump there? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <column> <laughs> crew, what? God dang. Sorry, it's just it's the one part of my research that's actually going well. So, silicate, where do I get it? Oh, shit, I thought I marked it on the rack. Hold on. Okay, there's this little general store southwest of us near Mazama Village. You should be able to find it there. Okay, got it. Thank you. Sorry, never mind. <clears throat> Carry on, Corporal. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Lieutenant. Sarah, out. Silicate. What the fuck is silicate, anyway? Let's go save this kid or guy or how I don't know how old he is. This is Captain Curry. Come in. He's probably about my age. Well, I just want to let you know that the colonel gives an informal talk every day at dusk at the staging area where you were sworn in. Uh, yes, sir. Now, while these talks are informal, enlisted men and women are expected to attend. <clears throat> uh, copy that, sir. 
Colonel, sir, just checking in on Lieutenant Norwood. Corporal, I've just read her report. She claims that you took down an entire drifter camp single-handedly. Well, I wasn't about to leave her in there alone, sir. Very good, Corporal. Captain Curry has put your name in for a promotion. I'm beginning to see why. me give back this really cool hat so I'm starting to like this hat I mean really <laughs> oh, I bet okay alright I gotta get back to work this yeast is already filled up like half a dozen petri dishes okay save me some of the viral proteins I got an appetite come on boy don't give up on us tell us where your camp is Maybe we'll let you live. Fuck you. Bring him down. I don't think he can hear us. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can do something about that. I'm not telling you shit. Come on. Let's do this. Cut up. Hey. Ah! Ah! Can you hear me? Ah! Ah! Oh! 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 Get him the fuck out of here. Come on. Ah! What do you think? Maybe we could turn this in at that army camp and get some credits. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm coming, Taylor. Hang in there. This is a nice gun. Listen to me, pal. Take this, hold it against your head like that. Good. No, I want you to wait here. I'm gonna go radio Captain Curry. He's gonna send someone to pick you up, all right? All right, man. Yeah, hell yeah.
Captain Corey, this is Corporal St. John. Come back. This is Corey. I'm here with Lieutenant Whitaker, checking on your progress. Corporal, I've told Captain Curry that you're an immense help. I don't know what I would do without you. Oh, well, th thank you. That's great. I, it's not why I'm checking in. Captain, uh, there's a marauder camp just off of South Rim Drive. Marauders? This close to the island? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Good night. There we go. Oh. Uh, no, listen, no, no, no. Um, I dealt with these bastards, but we have an injured man in private tail that fucking slices his ear off. Oh. Jesus. Hey, it would not be an episode of Days Gone if I didn't do that at least once. Am I right? You know I'm right. Yeah. Captain Corey, this is Corporal St. John. Come back. This is Corey. I'm here with Lieutenant Whitaker checking on your progress. Corporal, I've told Captain Curry that you're an immense help. I don't know what I would do without you. Oh, well, thank you. That's great. I, it's not why I'm checking in. Captain, uh, there's a marauder camp just off of South Rim Drive. Marauders? This close to the island? Uh, no, listen, no, 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 no. Um, I dealt with these bastards, but we have an injured man, Private Taylor. They fucking slice his ear off. Jesus, is he all right? Private Taylor? What was he doing out there? He's... Yeah, he's gonna live. No, no idea what he was doing out here. I need you to send docu uh, Captain Jimenez and some men to come out and get him. I'll send you the coordinates. I'll head up there now and let him know. Hurry up. Leave, they're gonna make me get back this really cool hat, so I'm starting to like this hat. I mean, really. God. Freak. Proteins. I got an appetite out here. I'll do that. Lieutenant Whitaker out. Taylor, how you doing, buddy? Like I said, man, I've, I've had better days. Uh, <laughs> hey, I think the bleeding stopped. No, 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 it, it hasn't. Okay. Uh, help is on the way. You hang tight. Uh, you want me to come back? Wait with you? No, oh, oh, hell no, no, no. I mean, 
I, I already feel like a little bitch, you know. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine, really. I'll stop by the infirmary later. I'll see how you're doing. Hey, I've seen that thing. It's pretty cushy. You better be out here. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, I see it too. Uh, don't give the doc too much trouble. Huh? You got that? Dig it out. This looks like the spot. Let's go find some silicate. All right, fellas, how you getting inside? There's another one. Time to burn. Catch! The frick? Maybe up here. I should be able to climb up here. Mom and pop store. Oh, where the hell is the silicon? <laughs> silicon. Yeah, well, it's got to be somewhere. Oh, here we go. Silicon. This will work. Oh, somebody didn't know what I'm... Hmm? Oh, come on, you bitch. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'll just park this anywhere. Shut up. Sarah, are you there? I've, um, got the silicate you requested. Corporal St. John, yes, I'm here. I'm in a meeting with Lieutenant Weaver. Corporal St. John? What are you doing another run for me? Uh, I don't know. Um... Weaver! Corporal, report in to me when you get back to the island. Lieutenant Whitaker out. Fucking Weaver now. What the fuck is he doing? Hey, Doc, you there? This is Corporal St. John to Doc Jimenez. Come back. Uh, St. John, how's the arm? Good, good. Uh, that ointment, or whatever it is that you gave me, it's, um, yeah, it's working great. I'll be the judge of that. Hey, so I'm actually just checking in to see, uh, well, to see how well you know Lieutenant Weaver. Lieutenant Weaver? Well, I know him as well as I know any of the officers. Why? I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm doing some runs for them, for him and Lieutenant Whitaker, and it just, it seems like he's, um, I don't know, he's, he's in her face all the time, and, uh, I don't fucking like it. <laughs> Lieutenant Whitaker can take care of herself. Listen to me, St. John. The Colonel tolerates a certain amount of razzing amongst the officers. If I were you, I'd stay out of it. All right, Doc. And don't worry about Lieutenant Weaver. He's no saint, but I've met worse. Give me this help. Corporal 
St. John, are you there? I need you to report to me in command at your convenience. Colonel, of course, sir. St. John out. Weaver, I swear to God. What, are you afraid of a little competition? I get out! Hey, is there a problem? Ma'am. Just a friendly discussion, Corporal. Lieutenant. What was that all about? <sighs> Nothing, it's just... Weaver, he thinks that the answer to everything is just to burn it all to the ground. God, fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. Here. No, don't. What now, Deacon? Thank me. Don't thank me. Every time you thank me, I end up outside with another one of your bullshit requisition forms. My bullshit? Uh, That's what you think this is? Uh, Everything yes. that I'm doing is mean just that. bullshit? No. Of course you didn't mean it. You know, I don't understand why you're still here. Well, then let me enlighten you. I spent the last two years killing freaks. One by one, up close, so close that I could smell the flesh rotting between their teeth. So if you're working on something here that's gonna take them all out at once, fuck it, I'm in. But if you don't want me here, you know what? Just give the order, ma'am. Deacon, wait. I'm sorry, okay? Look, I, I do need... I just... <sighs> Thank... I appreciate your help. St. John, you there? Yeah, I'm here. This is Lieutenant Weaver. Have you even... Many of you have been with me from the beginning. Listen to me when I warned about the coming of God's plague. Journeyed with me to this place. Helped me to build this ark. But whether you were with us from the beginning or joined our ranks only today. You are now part of this great endeavor. You are now part of our mission to save mankind. 
I want to remind you, as you go forth beyond these walls to perform your duties, that we are still searching for material worthy of safekeeping within the Ark. We seek textbooks, manuals, encyclopedia, discs, and other media. Lieutenant Weaver has listed several books on chemistry that are needed. Lieutenant Whitaker has listed books on biochemistry, genetics, and biology that we are lacking. Captain Jimenez has listed books on medicine, anatomy, and surgical procedures that we need. Sergeant Tomlinson has listed books on highway construction, mechanical engineering. And Captain Hawkins is always looking for material related to agriculture and hydroponics. So... While you're out doing runs, keep an eye out for items like these. Do your part to help us fill the Ark. Company dismissed. St. John, you there? Yeah, I'm here. This is Lieutenant Weaver. Have you even looked at my requisition form yet? I see you doing runs for the witch almost every day. I'm starting to feel left out. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yes, sir. Polystyrene, you need polystyrene, right? Yeah, that's right, polystyrene. If you're having trouble finding it, there's a wreck truck down on Highway 97, south of Chamon, beneath the water tower. Think you can find it? I'm not... Look, I'll find it, the wrecked truck, okay? I'll get you your, uh, polystyrene. See that to do. We've out. Corporal. Hey, Serge. Okay, got it. Uh, Corporal, see ya.
St. John to Whitaker. I, uh... Uh, Corporal St. John, yes. Matt, the Colonel is here. I was just telling him how helpful you Corporal St. John? Yes. Lieutenant Whitaker has been singing your praises. Just doing my job, Colonel. Uh, sir? I'm glad. Lieutenant Whitaker's work is well behind schedule, perhaps with your help. Matt, I told you. Look, biology, the work that I'm doing, is far more complicated than just building a bomb. Weaver is... Lieutenant Weaver is ahead of schedule. If you don't make similar progress, I'm going to have to pull resources from you and give them to him. Is that clear, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. Carry on. Uh, is everything okay? It sounds a lot like... Sorry, I have to go. Corporal St. John, this is Colonel Garrett. Report. Yes, sir. Corporal, yes. This is of the utmost urgency. A soldier, an officer, has gone. Spotted on the South Rim Drive. The stolen bike has a blue tank. Find him, Corporal. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll chase him down. Corporal, bring him back. Alive. Alive, sir. We're going to hang him, Corporal. An example for anyone who thinks they are above militia regulations, who thinks they are above the laws of God. Uh, yes, sir. Dismiss, Corporal. Water tower. This is it. It's gotta be here somewhere. Get in there. Gotta find Weaver's shit. Nest. Ooh. Gotta be right around here. Oh, where is it? God damn, Nest. It's gotta be close. some. I smell it. <clears throat> it's gotta be... These birds are vicious.
almost enough. Just a few more. There's another nest. Yeah, let's burn it up. This ought to do it. Oh, that was close. <laughs> it's always close with me. Hey, I uh, got the shit you were asking for. Oh, good, good. Set it down over there. Let me get a piece. Okay. That's good. So how are things going with Lieutenant Whitaker? How do you mean? <laughs> I see you coming and going, man. You're doing a lot of runs for her. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> okay, man. 
Yeah, I tried to hit that once when I first got here. Is that right? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, boy. I mean, that lady's got a fine ass. I'm an ass man. Can't help myself. Yeah, yeah. How'd that work out for you? Well, not too good. I mean, she threw me down on the ground, tried to break my goddamn arm. Listen up. You need to watch yourself with her. That lady's intense. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Uh, you know anything else? Uh, no, but grab these and follow me. You see, polystyrene is an aromatic hydrocarbon, while gasoline is made up of simple aliphatic hydrocarbons. You try saying that. Anyway, mix the two together, all those molecular chains break up into single covalent bonds. Yeah, everybody knows that. My friend is a napalm molotov, <laughs> and that is how we're gonna win this war. Once I fine-tune the formula, that shit's gonna burn hotter than an acetylene torch. <sighs> know how that is? Yeah, I got a pretty good idea. I worked in an auto shop. Do you need anything else? Nah, man, I'm good. So goddamn close. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> gonna blow up and burn, son! Taking it to their asses! That was nice. Hey, I'm uh, new around here. Name's Deacon St. John. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ella Sa Corporal. Okay, be well. See ya. Ah, Corporal, man of the hour. Sergeant? There you go. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> Oh, and it goes for the upgrade. Nice. Huh? Oh, okay. Corporal St. John, you stay safe, yeah? Corporal St. John. Sergeant, how's life? Repairs. Okay. Corporal, see you, man. Every time. Copy that. I'll be there as soon as I can. I think last time I was here, there was what those breakers or whatever they're called. 
Oh yeah, we had to get that, uh, what was it, yeast? I think it was. I should know we just did that mission like, what, 30 minutes ago? This is it. Maybe less. Colonel, I spotted him. It's him, all right. Remember, Corporal, I want him alive. Yes, sir, Colonel. I'll get him. St. John out. All right. Oh, come on, you asshole. Damn it! No! What the hell? Going AWOL is one thing, but you didn't have to murder two men to do it. Michael, please, just let me go. I'll, I'll tell you where I stashed you, I swear. Sorry, pal. Tell it to the colonel. Colonel, Freaks. I've got him. Freaks. Alive. Transmitting me. coordinates now. Freaks. Corporal, good. I'm like sending a patrol now. Please. Report back to me. Don't, get it out. Don't leave me.
Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm I'm sorry. It's this is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I I just need another requisition form. No, you know what? I'm I, I'm not gonna give this one to you. Why? Why not? So I'm gonna go with you this time. Let's go. Hmm. Come on, soldier. See if you can keep up with me. Yeah, right. When's the last time you went on a run? I mean, you know, out in the shit. Hey, I've done supply runs like anyone else. I gotta admit, it's been a while. You even have a bike? Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna ride with you on this run. No chance of us getting separated that way. Yes, mm. ma'am. Stop with. The... Hey, you uh, you been inside the ark yet? Uh, the caves here. Yeah, I got the grand tour when I arrived from the colonel himself. Come on, even you got to give the man some credit for the vision. I mean, stockpiling, preparing, saving what we can. Yeah, well, I'll give him this. This island is a goddamn fortress. Nothing's gonna get in here without a hell of a fight. Exactly. Here, this is my tent. Wow, nice place. It's got that woman's touch. You're right. I'm hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This'll get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The colonel. Oh, Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun. Come on. Let's go this way. I want to show you something. Following you. When I got here, the militia had cut down almost every tree on the island. I asked Matt, the colonel, to save the last one. Oh, yeah? Well, why did you uh, do that? Do you remember the weekend we rode up here? To Crater Lake, I mean, after we got married. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember. I remember thinking, God, when Mount Mazama blew up, how long did it take the lava to cool and the soil to form, all these trees to grow? When all this is over, when we leave this fucking island, I want there to be at least one tree left. Uh, listen, these guys don't give a shit about any of that. I've, I've been through their dead zone. Look, the colonel's focused on winning the war. The sooner I do my part, the sooner he'll stop burning everything to the ground. <clears throat> What's wrong? No, nothing, it's just... Never <clears throat> Hold on, uh... Hold on tight. There's a community college east of here, off the highway. You know the one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take the south bridge, it'll be faster. I'm with you. Hey, so I gotta ask, uh, all this stuff, the, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a viricide. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. you something after that night in farewell what happened i mean how did you get out well we almost didn't after the feds pulled out anyone still alive started putting up roadblocks of their own and they started shooting people on sight 
We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we were, we thought that you were going to be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story, no survivors, everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were killing each other over scraps of food, sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because because he lost his arm. But uh, but he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I, I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, my turn. Look, it's gonna sound stupid, but um. That night in farewell, my mongrel's ring. Do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the colonel's policy. They, they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know. I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter. Here, I think this is it. <laughs> You've been here before? Once. Before, you know, career day. They invited me to give a presentation on exciting careers in biochemistry. <laughs> God. What? Nothing, just... Looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. How are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No, uh, hold on. I can boost you up there. You ready? Yeah. Uh, you got it? <clears throat> got it. Here, watch your head. Got it. <clears throat> Jesus, what the hell happened here? This is one of the earliest survivor camps. Set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. It was dead long before I got here. This entire place is gonna be crawling. Yeah. Do you know where we're going? Like I said, I've only been here once, but I think the science building is back there. Ah, damn it, dudes. Okay. Wait, 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 wait a second. What's wrong? Well, I mean, I don't want to bring the whole place down in this. We don't even know what's in there. Well, we know what's in there, but you goddamn news. No, come on, let's just go around. Jam the place up pretty good. How about through here? The door's locked, but it doesn't look barricaded. Can you jimmy it? I think I can get this. Ah, there. Got it. Well, of course we do. Here. Looks clear. Coming. Here, uh, help me move this. Hold on, okay. You ready? Push! Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Oh shit! Back, 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 back. Oh fuck. Yeah. Alright, well, why don't we find another way? No, wait a second, wait a second. We can do this. What? We can do this. Uh, if we both go out there, we're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if... You come up on top of here. You lay down covering fire. <laughs> you take out the stragglers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. 
Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through, just close this up tight. Oh boy. Down. It's clear. It wasn't too hard. You okay? God, Jesus, that was a little too close. No, we had it all the way. Gunfire's gonna bring in more. Yeah, we'll be long gone by then. Where now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they got the place barricaded up pretty good. Uh, see if there's a hole in any of these walls. Place where we can climb up. All right, I'll look over here. Anything? No. Hey, over here, there's an open window. Yeah, I know, I saw it. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I got it. Hold on, let me find something. Ah, uh, Sarah? Hold on. I gotta find something I can throw down. Oh, shit! Deacon! Oh, shit, shit, shit! God damn it! Ah, uh, just find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! Deacon, here! <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Why are we laughing? I don't know. <sighs> you know, I, I remember you were always trying to talk me into going back to school. Oh yeah, well. And now you finally got your way. <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. Thanks. <sighs> you ready? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Here, let me go first this time. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say. It's like a bomb went off in here. Yeah. Maybe one did. Come on. I think we can get through here. The door's jammed. Here. Mm -hmm. I got this. I got it. See? I told you. See? Like I said, I got this. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. So, uh, how badly do you need this piece of equipment? All right, we're almost there. Look, we're not giving up now. I'm just asking. Now we know how the freaks were getting in. Someone needed to learn how to park. It looks clear. More barricades, and they're everywhere. Huh. Uh, check the buildings. I can see the science building. It's over there. Just gotta get through these barriers. Okay. Hey! Another open window. Got it. Let me guess. I'm gonna Here, help you up there, and then I'm gonna get attacked. This time. Don't take so long finding something for you to climb. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got it. Okay, hold on. Hey, and try not to attract any more swarmers this time, all right? Sure, yeah, I'll see what I can do.
Why didn't we push it in the first place? He's not dead. There's no way. Sorry. My finger slipped. Come on. I'm fine. Come on, we're almost there. This is the science building. Yeah, it looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's got to be a way in. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I've killed Fries before. Oh, I know, I know. It's just... Deacon, I'm fine. Let's go. Let's check this door. Can you open it? <clears throat> no, it's jammed from the inside. Let's go around the building. There has to be a way in. I'm telling you, someone sealed it tight from the inside. Well, we got to check, right? Locked. Jammed like all the rest. Another way. Oh, shit. Wait a second. What the Hold fuck? on for a second. Those are. Oh my God. Those are newts. They're inside. Those are newts in there, which means. There's gotta be a way up from the roof. Come on. Mm. Come on, the roof's low over here. Yep, we just have to find a way up. I'm assuming we're gonna push that, right? Sarah, here, uh, help me push this. We can use it to climb up. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, push. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hold up. You got it? Yeah. Okay, be ready. Newts can get pretty nasty when you trespass on their territory. I just really wish we didn't have to kill the little shits. What? What do you mean? You remind me of that little girl. The one in Farewell. The one that fucking stamped you? She didn't know what she was doing. None of them know what they're doing. I won't stop them from killing you. I know that. Look out! I got him. Oh. That's the last of them. You enjoyed that? Well, kill the newts? No, but... I mean, you gotta admit, they're pretty goddamn annoying. You're right about that. Here, give me your hand. Okay. <clears throat> Careful. Steady. I got this. All right. <clears throat> Careful. Oh, not only are they annoying, but they 
smell like shit. Yeah, well, you try living like them. See how you smell after two years. No, no thanks. <laughs> That's where, fair where, enough. Where are we going? Try these doors. Uh, one of these is gonna be a lab or a lecture room. Centrifuge has to be here somewhere. No sign of a violence or attack. Hemlock. Jesus. Over here. Is that the uh, centrifuge you were looking for? Yep, this is it. Come on. As it's gonna get. Let's move. Okay. More ammo. All right, I got it. Let's go. Deacon, stay down. Yeah. You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. From up here, you can see the entire parking lot. Watch where I'm going, and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this.
Hold on. I'm coming to you. You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you. You fired my gun in the air to scare those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, lots changed since then. Yeah. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What, uh, happened to you, Sarah? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that, I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. This way. Got it. Can I say thank you? No. Okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. Move along. Uh, what was I doing when the world got sick? Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock in the middle of all of this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. Huh. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> okay. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. What's that, Osbien? You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. <laughs> you know, me parece... It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. 
I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal? Doc? Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to oh, go with no, Corporal Saint No, John. no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. Matt, I've been out in this shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I... I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. That's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath that I could check out. you can't get what I need there, you... <laughs> How do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you can get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab. Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in this ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Oh, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean... Having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? I, we're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Was that here when you came over the pass? 
Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear problems? Hey! Hey! Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jesus. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god! What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Um, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know, Boozer's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't want to, I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's that's when I really wanted to. That's when I really wanted to kill myself. Yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. And that's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. But you know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tealson Tunnel. to move that out of the way. My God, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um... <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You can help move this or what? Yeah, sure. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a Nero checkpoint for about a mile. 
when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Hmm, okay. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Dang. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. <laughs> it's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... <sighs> what the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Mm. Shit, this place has everything. It's got food, it's got water, it's got power, it's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is, uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said, the power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on! Infected. It's what's made them so hyper aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. What the hell happened here? I don't know. What? Sarah. These, uh... These people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew him. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID two zero zero. Dang, it's coming down out there. Shit. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's it sounds out. so loud outside. Come on, there's another one over here. 
So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Ari? Why is Ari working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? Yeah. How many days? 831. God damn it. I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Yes, sir. What? You know how you just said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. Motherfucker. My God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh God, let us in! Oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. Why don't you let me go in first? Like, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people. And if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? That, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Get down. Mother fuck. You were saying? Yeah. Oh, this world is top of anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Alert. Stay up here and give me cover. Do whatever you can. It's true. I'll send you a little bit of You get a clear shot. Will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Her voice is driving me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. Warning: Deadly force is authorized. All trespassers. Warning: Deadly clear. force is authorized. It's coming. Whitaker, ID two zero zero seven six five nine. 
Sarah Irene Whitaker. Security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override. Alert. ID 2 0 0 7 6 5 9. Override. Security Alpha protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Building. Oh, God, shut the fuck up already. They must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah, this time, let me go in first. Hey, this time, Warning. we go Deadly in together. Force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Deadly force is authorized. Shit, snipers up there on the roof. I see. Oh, he shot me! Now you're gonna pay. Alert, alert. 911 has been called. Police. Stand down and you will not be harmed. There's more of them! Sarah Warning. Irene Whitaker, Deadly ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Whoa. Whoa. Ready? Yeah. Get through! Get through! Alert! Get the Alert! 911 has been called. Jim, wait! The police are that on their son way. Of a bitch. Stand well, down like you said, a lot's gone. changed. Let's make sure it's clear. Yeah, on it. Alert! Alert! This is a level four alarm. Multiple shot fire. It's clear in Security here. personnel to the main building. All right. Open this door. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. It's clear. For use Same here. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Okay, it's clear. They're waiting for us, Stand down and you will Come on, let's try the door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Fucking bitch! Hey, hey! Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh, yeah, you got one? Hmm. Uh, well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Over here. Hey, there's a ledge out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. Here. For use against all trespassers. 
Okay, hold on. Ready? Yep. You got it? <clears throat> yeah. Wait until I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> These days, that's all I do. Okay. Go. Thank you. Answer me, goddammit! Deacon Lee, St. John. ID 54290009. Good morning, Deacon Lee, St. John. Welcome to Cloverdale Research Iron Facility. This is your first login. Please? Disable voice response. Come on, get her! Yeah, get her! Damon, you listen to me! Here we go. Oh, what the hell with you? You should have left when you had the chance! Alert! Alert! 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Alert! Alert! This is a level 4 alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. That's the last of them. Tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here. You didn't want that, did you? Uh, we just couldn't take the risk. Get up. What? Wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open 
the goddamn door! All right, all right! I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. Dang, okay. Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. should have seen it when we first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? Sorry. David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I don't classified know. project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit and I didn't listen to him Deacon I told him that he was being paranoid and he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here well, I don't understand what do you mean I pieced it together in myself a little while later the night that I was stabbed I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell and I went to, to go try and find David but he was already gone He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You have stopped? It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Dang, that is messed up. Hey, uh, oh, hold on for a second. Sorry. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. Do you think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um... I'm gonna be right there. Okay.
That does it. Burn, you little bastards. This will work. I just gotta jimmy that door. That was easy enough. Not so hard. Ah, <laughs> uh, Boozer, it's it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey. It is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was me, and I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick. When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not going to get into that right now. Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, Dee? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good. Good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> nice. You, you know what? Listen, I, I gotta go, Ricky. Hi. But you know what? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielson Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Uh oh, I think we're in trouble. Did uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving.
It's clear. Are you going to come out and eat something? Yeah, just a second. Everything I had is soaking wet. warm again. Yeah. <clears throat> um, did you want to eat something or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. God, I'm not even hungry. Yeah, neither am I. <laughs> I swore I saw something move in like the corner over there. He saw. I think Nye's gonna finally put it together that she is his wife. Oh. Hmm. Someone I used to know. Hey, Corporal. How's life? Hey, Sarge. There you go. St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell, huh? Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in, Sarah! Oh, God damn it. Alright. We are going to stop there. We, we got quite a bit done today. I will give us credit. We got a lot done. That was a good over two hours. Uh, make sure you subscribe to post notifications so you know when I post. Also, um, I am starting a new series, uh, what is it called, LA Noir, I think it's called, 
I don't know if that will come out before or after this, so it might already be out, and if it is, make sure you go check it out. Um, but if not, stay tuned. Part 1 will be coming soon. Well, we'll see what happens. Um, like I said, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up.